how do you feel that uh, a deeper understanding of the cosmos helps us influence uh, our uh, work towards a more sustainable life on Earth? Yeah, it's a good question, and, and um, I, I, it's one I ask myself about a lot. Uh, you might say working on cosmology is a luxury. Uh, you know, the world may come to an end in 50 years or 100 years when we run out of fuel and destroy the environment and, uh, and, uh, and are plagued by disease or whatever. Um, but again, look to the past. I mean, where did this modern world come from? Where did plumbing come from? <laughs> Electricity and roads and, and supermarkets and all the stuff we absolutely take for granted. And the answer is that it came from the discoveries made by people like Isaac Newton, uh, who discovered the laws of motion. Uh, he couldn't do engineering without those laws of forces and movement. Um, and where did Newton learn those laws? Well, he learned them from the universe. Uh, he learned them by understanding how the solar system works and fitting the observations people have made. And this is true of, of all the progress. You know, where did lasers come from? It, came, it didn't come from worrying about you know, the, the problems of the streets or the, uh, you know, it came about worrying about the vacuum and what is light, uh, what is nature. And so, um, why should we lose confidence in, in our best means of making progress happen, you know, when it is happening faster than ever? I think now is absolutely not the time to, to say, enough physics, <laughs> okay, let's solve some real problems. Um, because the real problems have to be solved, okay, but the way I see it, those real problems need to be solved by very practical uh, planning, uh, rational thinking. These are all problems which can be solved um, if people are sensible. Okay. How to make people sensible is another question, which physics is, <laughs> physics is not going to solve that one. But um, uh, essentially those are practical problems. What physics will do is open the door to the future. And uh, I don't think we should be closing it right now.